let's take a look at how the F-15 EX, or Eagle II, can shoot farther than any other USAF fighter. Recently, the Air Force's operational test and evaluation teams conducted live fire exercises with the latest version of the legendary F-15, which was initially known as the F-15EX and now officially designated as the Eagle II. Using the latest versions of the venerable AMRAM missiles, AIM-120C3s and AIM-120Ds, these tests showed that the F-15EX can shoot from a significantly increased range. While the exact distance is classified, the Air Force did state that the Eagle II equipped with these missiles can shoot farther than any other fighter in the US arsenal, evidently even including the F-22. This is significant because a single F-15EX has the capacity to carry up to 12 AIM-120s, a true missile truck. This combination makes the Eagle II a fighter with unparalleled long-range capabilities, a key to ensuring US power projection globally, especially in today's geopolitical climate. And while the F-15EX is technically still a fourth generation fighter and non-stealth, engineers have already begun exploring and planning how the Eagle II integrates as part of a force package with fifth generation fighters such as the F-35. In this scenario, F-35s could serve as forward deployed infiltrating aircraft, penetrating deep behind enemy lines and confusing or even jamming enemy defenses. The Lightnings could then designate airborne targets and pass the information back to the Eagle IIs via a secure data link. The Eagle IIs would then launch their payload of AIM-120s at targets that are well outside their normal engagement zone, all while keeping the F-15 safe from enemy air defenses. More on that later. Let's take a closer look at the weapon system that is launched by the Eagle II which gives it such long range. The Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile or AMRAM better known as the AIM-120. The AIM-120 is a combat-proven air dominance weapon that is considered by many to be the world's most sophisticated medium to long-range air-to-air missile. Still, there's always room for improvement. The latest version of the AIM-120, known as the AIM-120 D3, delivers advanced capabilities to improve missile performance and effectiveness against advanced or near-peer threats that the US and allied partners could face in the near future. The D3 type is a result of the Form, Fit, Function Refresh, or F3R program. This program set out to address the increasing amount of production challenges faced by current AIM-120 units, mostly due to the obsolescence of several electronic components found on the missile. Additionally, software upgrades provide added improvements to the AIM-120 D3, further increasing its effectiveness. The maximum range of the new variant is still classified but there have been rumors that the distance exceeds 100 miles. If true, this would place it in rarefied company, alongside the exemplary AIM-54 Phoenix missile, which was paired with the F-14 Tomcat. These extreme ranges are likely made possible by the high altitudes and speeds that the Eagle II can attain. A missile's range is largely dictated by its launch altitude and initial speed, both of which are inherited from the parent aircraft firing the shot. Getting back to our previous scenario using F-35s, the Lightnings could be operating at low altitude, evading radar emissions while the Eagles could be flying at 40 or even 50,000 feet. Once the Lightnings obtained a target lock, the Eagles could engage their afterburners to boost their speed, then launch their AIM-120s. The F-15s could then turn and go defensive, while the F-35s could continue to guide the AIM-120s until they went pitbull or engaged their onboard tracking, at which point, the missile will become a fire and forget weapon. Again, given the highly classified nature of the AIM-120 D3 upgrades, this onboard tracking could include some passive systems that prevent the targeted aircraft from realizing they've been fired upon, which would reduce the target's evasion time further and increase the chances of a successful hit. Getting back to the F-15s, despite being non-stealthy aircraft, they are far from defenseless. The new Eagle IIs make use of the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, or EPAWS. EPAWS is a significant sensor upgrade for the F-15 platform, and is arguably the world's most advanced electronic warfare integrated suite. Produced by BAE Systems, this is achieved by combining radar warning, geolocation, situational awareness, and self-protection into one package. 
specifically designed to allow the Eagle II to operate and survive in highly contested environments, the system should allow for deeper penetration and increased survivability into modern integrated air defense networks. As a result, Eagle II is equipped with EPAWS should cause massive issues for adversaries. Moreover, EPAWS is an all-digital setup consisting of processors, frequency converters, transmitters, and antennas. This all-digital infrastructure takes up much less room, and this space savings allows the Eagle II to carry 50% more flares and chaff as compared to current versions of the Eagle that are equipped with legacy systems. EPAWS is a major update that provides the pilot a vastly improved assessment of the battle space, along with real-time 360-degree situational awareness. Similar to the sensor fusion suite found on 5th generation fighters like the F-35 and F-22. Given these defensive systems and upgrades, there could be other roles the Eagle II could play besides an air-to-air -air missile truck. The F-15's large size and carrying capacity could allow it to be used as a launch platform for long-range cruise missiles, a role traditionally fulfilled by bombers such as the B-1 Lancer and B-52 Stratofortress. In a scenario where an enemy target would need to be saturated with large volleys of cruise missiles, several flights of F-15s could be launched, each carrying multiple missiles. Since the Eagle is not nearly the same size as a larger bomber, it should be harder to detect which would help it participate in an alpha strike against a well-defended target. Another application for the Eagle II could be to launch hypersonic missiles. Given the Eagle's top speed and altitude, it should make activating a hypersonic missile scramjet or ramjet that much easier. As far as we can tell, unclassified hypersonic missile tests so far have taken place with launches from subsonic B-52s. Imagine the capabilities and range of a hypersonic missile launched from a supersonic F-15 at altitude. The X-51 Wave Rider could be one such payload for the Eagle II. Both of these options would turn a traditionally air superiority platform into a long-range strategic strike asset. Once performing this mission, the F-15 could land, refuel, and rearm in a fighter configuration, making it the embodiment of a multi-role aircraft. Having recently celebrated its 50th birthday, the F-15 Eagle is an air superiority fighter that has stood the test of time, with an unbeatable combat record of over 100 victories to zero air-to-air -air losses. To put that number in perspective, there are many air forces today which do not have 100 fighters. And while some question the introduction of the Eagle II last year, recent global events have once again shown that the F-15 is still needed today tomorrow and into the near future. Currently, the Air Force has placed an order for some 80 F-15 Eagle IIs. However, given the combination of AIM-120Ds and the EPAWS defensive sensor suite, along with the yet untapped potential weapon loadouts, it is entirely possible that this order number will increase. Ironically, when the F-15 was initially designed, it was conceived as the air superiority fighter in a high-low mix, which also featured the F-16. Today, that high-low mix could be the F-35 and F-15. Could we see a resurgence of the venerable Eagle? What do you think? Is the F-15 Eagle II a game-changer? Does the AIM-120D level the playing field? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and thank you to the members and supporters of this channel who make videos like these possible. Now you know!